Hello guys and welcome back to the FE exam review series where I cover the most common FE problems that you need to know to pass your FE exam. In today's video, we'll be covering a dynamic section problem, specifically under part A, kinematics. So let's dive in. Oh yeah, everybody now. A particle moves along a straight line with an acceleration of 3t meters per second squared, where t is in seconds. Now, initially, the particle has an initial velocity of 7 meters per second, and we want to find the velocity of the particle at 5 seconds. So, to solve for this problem, the first thing you guys need to do is go to the reference menu and grab the equation. So, if we go to the reference menu and take a look at the equation here, so we need an equation that relates the acceleration to velocity, okay? And so, here we have acceleration is equal to the derivative of the velocity with respect to time. Now the problem is we have the acceleration and we're actually trying to look for the velocity, right? So what you're going to need to do here is integrate both sides and then if you do that you're going to have the velocity is equal to the integral of a times dt, okay? Now when you set up your integral, the only thing that you got to watch out for is the initial velocity that was given to us, okay? So we have an initial velocity of 7 meters per second, so just watch out for that. So with that, why don't you guys give this problem a try, and then in a little bit, we'll go over it together. Now, if you guys find this problem helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps the channel out immensely. And also make sure to download this cheat sheet that has a lot of important equations and concepts that you need to know for your FE exam. Okay, guys, so as we discussed before, this is the equation that we're going to use. Now, we are trying to solve for the velocity. So what we're going to do is just integrate both sides. And if we do that, we're going to have the velocity is going to be equal to the integral of acceleration times dt. Now, acceleration was given to us, which is 3t. So let's go ahead and replace that. So now we're going to have the integral of 3t times dt. Now let's go ahead and integrate 3t with respect to time. So we're going to have 3t squared. So the reason why we're going to have squared here, guys, is because when we integrate, we add 1 to the power, right? And so this t here is technically to the power of 1, right? So if we do 1 plus 1, that gives us 2. And whatever the power is, we have to divide by 2. And then we're going to do plus c. So don't forget the constant. And the reason why we have the constant here is because here we have an indefinite integral. Okay, now before we can find the velocity at five seconds, first we actually have to determine the constant. And the way we're going to determine the constant, well, in the problem, initially we have the initial velocity, right? So that means at zero, at t is equal to zero, the initial velocity is seven meters per second. So we can actually use that to determine c. So let's go ahead and do that. So this is what we have, guys, so far. So we have v of 0 is equal to 7, because initially the velocity is 7. And then also we found that v of t is equal to 3t squared over 2 plus c, okay? So we're going to use these two to determine c, okay? So we're going to do v of 0 is going to be equal to 3, 0 squared over 2, okay? So we're going to substitute 0 into this equation here plus c, and this is equals to what? Equals to 7, because we said that v of 0 is equal to 7, okay? Now, if you guys solve for this, you're just going to get 7, because this term here goes to 0. So c is equal to 7. So now our velocity equation, v of t, is going to be equal to 3t squared over 2 plus 7. Now, to determine the velocity at 5, all we need to do is just substitute 5 in this equation. So we're going to have v of 5 is going to be equal to 3 times 5 squared over 2 plus 7. And if you guys plug those numbers in your calculator, you're going to get 44.5. So now, if we take a look at the multiple choice, the answer is going to be D. Now, if your goal is to pass the FE exam this year, go ahead and comment below 2023. And also, I want you guys to know that you still got time. You can still do it. Just make sure that you are on the right track. You're studying the right material and you have the right study tools and study habits that will help you pass your FE exam. And if you're not sure if you are on the right track, make sure to check out this playlist here where our students share their FE experience and how they pass the FE exam. And also feel free to reach out to us if you have any questions about your FE exam or you can leave your question in the comment section below. Now thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great productive week and I will see you guys on the next video. A la prochaine. Oh yeah,